Hi, this is Eric Smith. Time to do another quick look video, and I thought I would do it from Philippians chapter 3, verse 7, and the Word of God reads this way. But what things were gained to me, these I have counted loss for Christ. In this particular verse, verse 7 of chapter 3 of Philippians, the Apostle Paul is telling us something very personal about himself. And the thing he's talking about actually should apply to all Christians. It actually should. And it should be an encouragement to us. The verse begins, but. So we have the conjunction but. And the but is always giving a contrast to something that was before the but. And we're going to get into that in just a second. It says, but what things. Now the things is the very thing that came before the but. And if you go back in this chapter to verses 3 going to the verse I just read, the Apostle Paul is talking about what his position was as a Pharisee. He was a Pharisee that was um, circumcised on the eighth day. He was of the stock of Israel, the tribe of Benjamin. He was a Hebrew of Hebrews. He's actually saying this is what he was. And he says he had zeal according to the law, zeal to persecute the church of Christ. And concerning the righteousness which is in the law, he was blameless. So as a Pharisee, he kept the laws of God on the outside in a blameless way. So he was probably the most religious person that you would ever find. And he was a religious person that had a position. Um, he had stature. People would look at him with honor. But in this verse, verse 7, he says, But what things, those things, were gained to me. So he's saying, as a Pharisee, those things were gained. It was almost like a business gain. He had all this stature and power because of all those things. Because he was the ultimate Pharisee. But he says, But what things were gained to me, these, talking about the same thing, I have counted. Now the word counted here means Consider, deemed, to think. It's a willful intent to take account of something and evaluate the value. And he says, these things, these I have counted loss. Again, it's almost a business term. Where he was a Pharisee before he got saved, it was a gain to him. But it says, I have counted loss. And understand something, it's counted loss deliberately from the Apostle Paul. And he says, for Christ. Dear Christian, as a Christian today, have you counted things that were gained to you when you were an unbeliever? Do you count it loss for Christ? Do you have money? Do you have fame? Social position? Possessions? Things that would just be gained to you? It could be anything. It could be the things you have, the hobbies you do, even how intellectual you are in certain areas. All those things could be gained when you were unbeliever. But now, have you counted it loss for Christ? Have you counted the value of being in Christ over all those things? The Apostle Paul was doing that. It shows his devotion, love, admiration, fear, and dedication and faithfulness to Christ. Because those things that gave him gain before meant nothing because Christ was all in all. So this is Philippians chapter 3 verse 7. I just wanted to do a quick look to encourage you Christian that everything you have in Christ is worth more than the things you had before you were saved. And sometimes we forget that. Sometimes we think we need to pursue things that we think might give us gain. But we have everything in Christ. And we need to consider those things lost. And understand something. It's a willful consideration because now you're in Christ. As always, if the videos on this channel have encouraged your Christian walk and edified you in any way whatsoever, but you have not subscribed to my channel yet and you want to, hit the button. If you want to leave any comments, please do so, but please don't be snarky. Please do not be profane. We want to be Christ-like in everything we say and do as Christians. And until we do another quick look, go over Philippians chapter 3. Read from verse 1 all the way to this verse and beyond. 
and see what Paul is talking about. He's talking about his Christian walk and what he has actually gained by losing what he had before. And as Christians today, we have everything because we have the Lord Jesus Christ. And you know what? There's nothing better than that. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And God bless.